On April 6, 2004, the Arizona Senate Government Committee met to hear two very important homeowner association bills. Representative Chuck Gray's HB 2377 pertaining to the requirement of associations to get a Justice of the Peace Court approval of liens for violations of the CCNRs. This would have met the constitutionality requirements of due process protection against frivolous vendetta and punitive claims of violations by association boards. The second bill to be considered that failed in its entirety last year is Representative Farnsworth's HB 2402, the anti-foreclosure, anti-lien bill that would have restored the equal protection of the laws to homeowners. This bill has been the objective of intensive lobbying by the Business Trade Group, Community Associations Institute, CAI, both last year and this year. CAI is a lobbying organization of stakeholders, but actually dominated by those groups who earn their income from associations, the lawyers, and the management firms. Under homeowners advocates reject its claim of having an interest I stake in the homeowner's private property rights, his own. Homeowner advocates believe that many of the problems with HOAs are related to the interference of these attorneys and management firms that have a vested interest in keeping the status quo. All the powers to the association and no homeowner's bill of rights that would be identical to and applicable to their situation, the U.S. Bill of Rights. Under the devise of the sacredness of no government interference in private contracts, homeowner rights and freedoms have been relegated to almost a non-existent. Two sides of the argument center around the right of and the necessity for the association to survive, as current laws and the CCNRs provide, without any reforms that would create a truly democratic community subject to the laws of the land, as some rights advocates argue. You will hear from CAI, the lobbyist trade group, about the cost to the association, about scare tactics that the HLA will fail, and no discussion of the rights and freedoms guaranteed to all citizens of this country, but argued by the homeowner advocates. Let's see what took place. Pay close attention to what Representative Farnsworth is saying. Then there's going to be attorney's fees involved in the pending suit. 
then if the association, let's just say the homeowner wins and the association appeals to, to his Maricopa County Superior Court, that is what's called a de novo appeal. And that means basically that the Superior Court says we could care less what the Justice Court found. Um, the other issue...